Hey guys, what's going on? Meat Wagon back again with the fun series. This is on Fubai Valley. Fubai Valley. So we're attacking on Fubai Valley. Sorry about that. Uh, this is uh, another part. I'm just going to call this the fun series because this was again from that night where I was just playing and having a good time. And, you know, I was recording just as I always do, but had some really fun games. I thought I'd share a couple of them with you. And this particular one, Fubai Valley Attack, I do like, I mean, I think I like all the maps. I really, really like Operation Hastings, but Fubai Valley is a really fun map as well because kind of the way they set out the MCOM stations, how it goes, you know, straight out, then it turns up the hill, then it goes back down the hill, it's, it's pretty cool. And one thing, you know, one thing I really, really like about the Vietnam pack is that you can actually shoot down the, uh, the helicopters like the enemy air power with your regular guns you can shoot them down with AKs with the LMGs hell even with the uh, the MAC-10 like I got I'm rocking here with the MAC-10 and this is a surprisingly it's a pretty good gun if if you learn how to burst fire it I mean it's got a 40 round magazine capacity on it which I mean look at that see that's a pretty pretty far shot with a with a little MAC-10 Uzi looking gun like this right I get owned there pretty good, but teammate cleans him up. I got the plant in here on B. Um, but yeah, I'm running an engineer kit. I I just like sometimes I write like running the engineer kit just for the the sake of using different weapons. You know, I do like the AK a lot. I do like the um, I do like the PPSH, and I like this uh, Mac 10. And then like when I run medic, I think I like running. Sometimes I run the, um, I don't ever run the M60, I don't think, unless unless it's a really heavy helicopter type driven map, but I, I like the RPK, the RPK seems to work pretty good when you burst fire it, and I'm trying to think what that other one, the XM22, is that right? I think maybe the XM22 is the other gun I like, which has a really high rate of fire, but um, you know, you gotta be on target with it, you can spray from the hip and, and miss every shot, so... You got to really control that rate of fire. Right here, uh, I actually wasn't able to save guns there. Uh, the guy came up from behind us. I took him out after he killed him, but I'm waiting for guns to spawn back in because we're right up by the A target. And I think guns is going to flank to the left. I'm going to flank down to the right. I start picking some guys off. I'm, I'm not sure where they're going because you'll see where I go. I go over by the little lake between the A and the B target, and the B target's gone already. I mean, these, there's not really any reason for these guys to be pushing over here unless they're trying to, I guess, push up and maybe, you know, push the front line back farther. But you can see, I'm just wondering where these guys are going and why they didn't come back to kill me. I, I get a few kills here, and there is somewhat of a kill cam you can see after you get killed that the guy, whoever killed you, is still lingering in that general area. And that's what I'm doing. I'm just kind of sitting here, wall banging this sniper. I mean, this M10 is a lot of fun to use. Again, if you learn how to learn how to burst fire it, and if you have to shoot from the hip, just just spray and pray. It works pretty good. It works pretty good. I think I I think I probably end up using this for this whole game, this whole attack on this game here. But just like the other game I was talking about, when we go on defense, these guys they don't even get the first set of MCOMs. That's kind of what it was all night long. Again, you know, maybe it wasn't the highest caliber of players we were playing against, or, you know, just luck was on our side this night. But either way, it doesn't matter. I was having a blast. And I think at this point, we actually, I actually had Holy, one of my other guys, one of my other friends, he joined us. He wasn't in our squad, but he was on our team. So, I mean, theoretically, it's like we had a five man squad, even though we couldn't communicate with him. He knows how we play. You know, you can you can see each other in game where we're going if we're like right here if we're flanking around to B. I don't know what that guy was doing standing in the middle of the road. True almost ran him over with the tank. But you know, you can see you can see there is there he is there in the blue name. NGT. Holy Ezekiel, another guy on my friends list. Really, really good battlefield player. He's a good all-around player, but I tell you he's really good in battlefield. He's a good guy to have on your team. Um here I'm just setting up, trying to pick some guys off, trying to see where the enemy is. Again, switching to that pistol like I talked about. Even at range, if you're on target, even at range, man, that pistol is deadly. You can see I'm almost out of ammo here, so I'm not sure. I think I'm calling out to Bentley. 
or whoever dies next, you know, if they could switch to, um, I think I killed this guy with the last bullet in my clip, in my magazine, look at that. The last bullet took that guy out. So, okay. Bentley's in a helicopter, I think he gets taken out. I hear him cry, I hear him cry out like a little baby, <laughs> that he gets taken out. I say, hey dude, if you could spawn back in on me as a salt, drop me an ammo pack, I'd appreciate it, bud. And he does, so I'm kind of lingering in this area with my pistol, just hoping I don't get taken out, waiting for, for Bentley to spawn in. You'll see him when he spawns in here. I mean, that's the good thing about teammates. You know, they'll switch kits for you, come in, bring you ammo. He drops ammo for me. Look at this. I reload my Mac 10 I'm back in the game, right? I'm back in the fight. So that's a, good, that's a good part of communications and having squad mates that are cool like that. You know, if they go down, be willing to switch kits for you, you know? I like that. I like that teamwork aspect of all these games. I mean, I have more fun with, with um, you know, playing as a team. It's it's kind of like what's what my evolution in zombies. You know, I played a lot of zombies. I post a lot of zombies on my channel. A lot of PC custom zombies on my channel. I don't know if if any of you guys have gone and checked it out. It's Meat Wagon 22. You guys feel free to come over there and check it out. Post a lot of zombie stuff and. As the new uh, Battlefield 3 and Modern Warfare 3 come out, I'll be posting a lot on this channel, and I'll be posting a lot on my channel. You know, maybe kind of like how Colin does it. You know, Colin posts um, gameplays on here, and he also posts some stuff, like some fun stuff, some team communications, maybe some some nights where some booze is involved. He does that on his channel. You guys should definitely go check out Colin's channel too. It's it's Oplum77. I hope I said that right. <laughs> Um, but uh, usually the links are in the descriptions of, of each person's video for my videos and for, for Colin's videos as well. We do post on our own channels as well as Next Gen Tactics. So again, feel free to come over to our channels, check it out. You might find some that you like, some kind of maybe off the wall, goofy stuff, maybe some, some more fun stuff, less tactical and serious. I mean, that's what we try and bring you on this channel is some, some strategies, you know, to maybe help improve your game or... Help, improve, help bring more enjoyment to the game, you know? Like I was saying before, it's a limited time that we get to play these games. Maybe an hour a night, maybe a few nights a week, maybe one time a week, you never know. So while you're on, you might as well be having a good time. And we, we all have those rage-inducing games where, you know, it just drives you crazy. I, I just had that the other night on Modern Warfare 2. I, I probably shouldn't have been playing it. I was kind of in a in a lazy lazy kind of mentality my reactions were so slow i was i was losing so many gunfights i should post one of those games for you to show what can happen when you're just you're just not in the mood to play that particular type of quick twitch quick reaction type games when you're you're kind of just hanging out going through the motions you're gonna get owned and i was getting owned the other night i got a couple of good games out of it but mostly bad games so you know like i said Playing with friends, you know, maximizing the time that you get to play video games and just trying to enjoy it. I mean, once in a while when I get in those moods, my friends, you know, if you've got good friends, they'll pick you up and go, Hey, dude, don't even worry about it. We're having a good time. You know, just drop it, right? Just And if you can, if you can get out of that funk, you know, that, that mood where you just get in a bad mood and you're not enjoying yourself, screw it, man. It's a video game. Kick back, relax, enjoy yourself. It, you know, it's easy to enjoy yourself when you're winning, too. That's what I always say. So, squad up with a good group of guys, all your friends. Get in there, have a good time. I know I preach that a lot, but why not? What's wrong with that? I mean, preaching, having a good time, enjoying yourself while you're playing. What's wrong with that? Isn't that why we play these games? I mean, we don't play these games to, like, conquer the world or something. We're not... We're not curing cancer here this is video games you know what i mean i have a very serious serious job that i do in my daily life this is my release to just enjoy myself have a good time hang out with my friends online and you know make videos for you guys and hopefully you guys can get some enjoyment out of this if it's not a, a tactical type strategic gameplay it'll just be a fun gameplay like this one so we pretty much rolled over those guys hope you guys enjoyed this if you do leave it in the comments i'll bring you some more uh, vietnam expansion pack thanks for watching guys see you next time Did you like this video? If you did, check out a couple of these at the top on AGT Minecraft. We have 
Guns for Hire, and Meat Wagon playing on our NGT Minecraft server, being dumb and dumber yet again. In the middle, on NGT Games, we have Spider Bite, Meat Wagon, and myself committing through a full playthrough of Borderlands, including the DLC. And at the bottom, on NGT Zombies, we have Spider Bite, Hyper Mole, Meat Wagon, and myself playing another custom PC World of War zombie map called BBF, or Baseball Field. Click the corresponding thumbnails to watch the videos.